back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Teresa and I post beauty videos once a week, every week. So today's video is so exciting because I got to use um, the brand new Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. So I also wanted to tell you guys a little something um, exciting, I guess you could say. I have an affiliate code with the um, company called Lash Flawless. They are a newer lash brand that makes beautiful mink lashes, 3D lashes. They are so, so gorgeous. I have a code for 10% off, and the code is just my um, YouTube name, TR Beauty. And I'll have it right here on the screen for you if you want to go ahead and use my code. It means so much to me if you would. And I just ordered myself some lashes too. So once my lashes come in from Lash Flawless, I'll definitely make a video and I'll show you how they look on me and how I like them, the quality of them, and everything like that. They are $16.99 on their site, and with my code, you're going to get 10% off of that. In case you guys did not know, I have an Instagram account for my YouTube, and basically, on my Instagram account, I post every single day, almost. I try to. <laughs> and I post a bunch of different makeup looks, stuff you don't really see on my YouTube. I post there, and I post um, more about brands that I love. I post, like, little hauls here and there, and it's really, really fun. I love to post there so much. I have... Right now, 500 followers, and I'm hoping that when I get to 1,000 followers, I'm going to do a little giveaway on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there, help me get to 1,000, and then you can be a part of my giveaway. This video is kind of a little bit of a collaboration with some of my friends on Instagram. And basically, our collaboration is called Summer at the Beach. And we all created different looks inspired by the summer season and the beach season and all that. I'm going to have all of their Instagrams down there in the description box along with some of their blogs and some of their YouTube channels. So definitely go check them out. They're all so talented and gorgeous and they also made beautiful looks. So if um, you want to see how to do that, just keep on watching. So first off, I primed my face using the Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. And I like this because it... um helps cover up my pores a little bit and it just makes my face ready for all the makeup I'm going to put onto it. Then after that I moisturized using my Cetaphil Everyday Moisturizer. It's called the Daily Advanced Face Lotion. That's the one I use. Then after that I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I really like this because it's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free, so it's perfect for my acne prone skin. So I basically I just spray this all over my face and then I just tap it in with my hand. After that it was time to finally start the makeup. And for foundation, I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color 12N E Crew or Crew, something like that. E C R U, that's how that's the shade name. And I apply that with a flat foundation brush, and then I blended it in with my Beauty Blender. After that, I concealed my face using my Revlon Colorstay Concealer as well as my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So basically, I put both of these on the points of my face that I wanted to highlight and then I just took the Revlon Concealer and I used that on more blemishes and red spots that I needed a little bit of extra coverage on and then I just blended that in with my Beauty Blender. After that, I went to contour my face a little bit and I used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. That is a mouthful, oh my god. And I used the shade Light Medium and I just took the brown side of that, like the contour side, and I put that in my cheekbones, on the, my nose a tiny little bit just to contour around the face. I also put it on my forehead and down by my jawline, just so that I can get a little bit of um, dimension and darkness in my face. And I just blended that with my beauty blender. After that, I set all of the makeup with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I just took a little powder puff and I just patted it into my skin. Um, I'm foc I focus it really where I put my highlight. So basically, I put it on my under eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. 
But then I just put a tiny little bit on my cheeks as well so that all the rest of my face makeup has something to blend with. Then after that I brought a little bit of more warmth back to my face with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I just took a fluffy e.l.f. complexion brush right here and I just um, blended it in circular motions right in my cheekbones and also up in my hairline just to really kind of create a little bit more darkness and dimension. After that I wanted to bring a little color back to my face and for that I used the Too Faced Sweethearts blush in the color Peach Beach. It's a beautiful baked blush that has a little bit of a bronzy and a highlight color all in one and it's so so gorgeous. I took the same elf brush and I just blended it right on the apples of my cheeks and I blended it back toward my ear just so it looks like it's all coming back and it's not just like focused right in the center of my face. After that I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and this is the one in Gleam. It's discontinued but I have it and I just love it so much. I literally use it all the time. It's like the only highlight I ever used besides my Wet n Wild one. But this one is just so beautiful. I used the color Crushed Pearl and just put that with a fan brush on my cheekbones on the um, above my eyebrow. I like to just highlight there as well. I put a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow as well just to really have a little bit of a dewy highlight on my face. After that I moved on to my brows and for my brows I first used the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade, no well in the shade, in the number 6. And basically what I did is I just combed up my brows, I outlined them with this. And then I went to fill them in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown. And I just used that with an angled brush just to kind of first go over my outline and then just fill in my brows. And I think I'm having a really good brow day if I do say so myself. <laughs> and finally it was time for my eyes. And first off, I took my Morphe M433, yes, my Morphe M433 brush, and I took the pale yellow color in the first row of the palette, and I just blended that in my crease. That's just like a little base transition color right there, just so I can blend everything else with it. Then focusing on the middle of my crease to the outer part, I took the orange shade in the third row, and I just started building that also with my M433 brush, just back and forth in windshield wiper motions just to continue to build that rich yellowy orange color. Once that was all blended to perfection, I took the pink shade in the last row of the palette and I focused that on the um, lid of my eye and I just really went over that a couple of times just so we can really get an intense pink on my lid. And then on top of that, I just wanted a little bit of shimmer on my lid, so I took the very first color in the first row, which is a beautiful pale pink with a little tiny bit of glitter in it, and I focused that on the middle of my lid just so we have a little bit of shimmer and a little shine in it. After that, in order to highlight the eye a little bit, I took the white shade right here in the bigger pan and I focused that just on my inner corner. Then after that, I focused some of the purple colors on my outer corner and into my crease just so we can build it and smoke it out a tiny bit more and add a little bit of more color and dimension. So I took the light purple shade in the first row of the palette and I focused that on my outer V and then I just blended that with my Morphe M433 in a circular motion. Then I took the dark purple color in the third row of the palette and I just started to blend right on top of where I put the lighter purple just to continue to build it and blend it and make it darker and more smoky and gorgeous. <laughs> then on my lower lash line I took the darker blue shade in the first row of the palette and I put that on just on my lower lash line and then I used the darker one right beneath it just to kind of make it a little bit more bolder and pop a little bit more. Okay, so I just went off camera and I applied some eyeliner, mascara, falsies, and some lipstick. Thank 
you guys so so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like and comment down below so I know you guys liked it and also subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos every single week I'm gonna be posting so much this summer I'm so excited also like I said in, in the introduction make sure that you follow my Instagram I'm at 500 something followers right now which is so insane to me I'm so so happy and I'm so like I feel like I have a little family on my Instagram channel, on my Instagram page, not channel. So make sure you go follow there, be a part of my family. I post videos every single day and all that jazz. In the description box below, I will also have all of the products that I use, including the shade names. So in case you're wondering what foundation, concealer, or whatever I was using and you missed it in the video, I'll have everything down below for you to use. Along with, I'll also have in the description box all of the other accounts that are a part of the Instagram collaboration for the Summer at the Beach makeup look. So definitely, like I said before, go check them out. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in next week. And bye, guys.